Hey, what's up guys? I hope everybody's been doing well. Uh, in this video, I want to talk um, about money. Uh, money's not something that gets talked about a whole lot, um, but I think it's super important um, that we just clear the air and, and, and share information we, with each other regarding money. And, and specifically in this video, what I want to share with you is the mindset shift that I've had about money from whenever I first started my business uh, four years ago and how that mindset shift has translated into you know more money uh, and more money available to me. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it, you know. Uh, and if you're new to um, business in general, or maybe your business is just kind of trudging along and not really doing what you want it to do, hang with me in this video. Um, and I really think that it's going to be super valuable to you. Okay. So. Whenever I was growing up, um, we were like most families. Um, we had a you know modest lifestyle. Uh, my dad was a minister. My mom was the uh, worship uh, leader at, at the church. Um, but you know, regarding money, um, it, it was it was always a a very transactional thing. You know, uh, it was you worked hard for your money. Um, you you got paid. Um, you paid your bills, and then you saved and had you know money left over. And that was, that was how, like most people that we associated with and that I associated with growing up, that was how money was. It was you work hard, you get paid, you pay bills and save or save and pay bills, you know, but it was, it was finite. Money was a limited. It was, it was a scarce resource um, to be saved. That, that type of money management um, does not work in business. It, it works for an employee uh, of an organization, but for you to succeed in business, you have to stop thinking of money as being a transactional thing, okay? Change your mindset from money being transactional to associating money with numbers, okay? Money is just numbers floating around in people's bank accounts. You know, it's not, it's not cash, it's not gold, it's, not, it's nothing. It is, it's numbers. Some people have more numbers than other people. Some people manage their numbers better than other people manage their numbers. But money, it is just numbers. And the way you get more numbers as a business owner is by being valuable enough to enough people, period. Let me say that again. You get more numbers if you are valuable enough to enough people, okay? Guys, when you stop thinking of money as being, I work, I get paid, and, and it being a transactional thing and start associating money with value to a broad spectrum of people, that is when the light bulb goes off and you see money for what it is. Money is not scarce. Money is just numbers that is associated with value. Now, let me inject real quick and say that we're not talking about value associated um, with employees of organizations like teachers, firefighters, law enforcement officers. We're not talking about that type of value to society. We're talking about you are self-employed, you are a solo entrepreneur, you are a business owner, you are out there to make it on your own. You cannot make it on your own if you are not valuable enough to enough people. And if you think of your business as being transactional, which whenever I first started, I will tell you and I will admit that I thought, I'm good. I said, Okay, we're going to mow this yard. Here are my expenses. I have this money left over. We have a profit. We're good to go. That was a transactional way of thinking. But about a year into it, the light bulb went off whenever I said, wait, this, this does not work long term. This is just another, this is just another way of, of making a buck. All right? We're not in, I'm not in business to make a buck, Okay. I'm in business, I mean, let's just say it. I'm in business to make a lot of money. 
I'm not here to just make a book. I don't, I don't want to just make a book. You know, I want, I want to do things and there's, there's, um, there's things that I want to do that I have to make more money than just making a buck, okay? And you have to start thinking in terms of value associated with numbers, okay? <clears throat> Whenever I started asking myself, what can I do to be more valuable to our clients? You know, what are the answers to that for a lawn care business? You know, I can answer their phone call whenever they call me. I can return their phone call if I miss it uh, almost immediately. I can return their emails the same day. I can get them fair prices and show up in professional uniforms uh, and, and do good quality work um, consistently on a schedule. All these other things that a lot of lawn care companies don't do, that makes you more valuable. Valuable enough that people are willing to tell other people about you. And those people who have numbers are willing to take their numbers and give them to you, okay? Guys, the, the quicker you stop thinking about money as being transactional and start thinking, not thinking, seeing money for what it really is. It's just, it's just numbers floating around there, guys, and you have to figure out a way to get more numbers into your account, and you do that by being valuable to a lot of people, okay? You know, if a business fails, we can talk all we want about the marketing was no good, you know, they did, or, or their market didn't support it, um, and, and, or, or whatever excuse we come up with, and those things all may be true, but they directly tie right back to this. That business did not offer enough value to enough people. If your business is struggling or, or, or you're, you're kind of trudging along and it's not really at the point where you want it, I would almost guarantee that you're thinking um, in terms of a transactional way for your business. I would challenge you to ask yourself, what can I do to be more valuable to the people that I'm already serving? How can I be more valuable to them? Whenever you're more valuable, guys, you get talked about. And the more valuable you become to more people, the more numbers get transferred from them to you. I know this sounds like some theoretical hocus-pocus stuff, but it's not, guys. This is a real-world experience of what has caused me to stop making a buck and go to the next level. Change your mindset about money. See it for what it really is. Numbers associated to value. Good luck.